last three cars I stopped in here, I got doping guns out of two of them. I got a gun and the resisting arrest off the third one. I see, you know, three, nine. Stolen vehicle, hot damn. Anybody near Broad and Havel? I'm calling. Back up a little bit, sit tight. I want to let them both get back in the car. He's getting in now, so y'all go ahead, come on. In the car, show me your hands. Put your hands up. Hands up. Don't reach for nothing. Put your hands up. Step out, turn around, face away from me. You got ID on you? Yes, sir. Where's that? Don't reach for it. Don't reach for it. Don't reach for it. Who is this young lady? I just met her today. She just gave me a ride from right there on North Main. How you know him? I just met him. OK. OK. Officer Murphy explained to me just now, said something about the vehicle was reported stolen. It is? OK. I don't know anything about that. OK. He told me he got the car from his homeboy or whatever. Our investigator is contacting the owner of the vehicle to see if she knows who these people are and whether or not they had permission to be in her vehicle. Hey, dear. What is going on with your car? Apparently, my brother stole my car. I went to sleep that night, woke up that morning to take him to work. He was gone. We just realized that he's a crackhead. <laughs> my brother's at my house. You can go pick him up. This guy over here, he's eat up from the floor up with narcotics arrest. So it wouldn't surprise me if her brother knows him and he gave him the car for some crack the other night. I, I mean, I would even go as far as say this is probably a crack rental. Tell me got this car again. What you mean? Or what if I told you gave you that car for some crack? You give me no car, sir. Yeah, I don't sell no crack. I had crack charges in the past, but you ain't give me no car for no crack. What'd he give you the car for? He let him pull it for about $50. That's a deal, man. You got any more cars I can rent? <laughs> $50 for a week? No, sir. Yeah. I just talked to the, the investigator who's handling the case, and um, he's going to get up with you and get some statements and things like that, okay. and uh, do what he can about getting some warrants, all right? OK. So you can, good. you can take your car, and you're free Thank to go. You all. The investigator is going to get warrants on her brother for the use of vehicle without owner's consent. Neither the driver or the uh, passenger were charged. I, right now, I got to find somebody to come pick me up. We did not have enough evidence to meet the, the burden of probable cause. You are free to go, OK? To be able to charge somebody with possession of a stolen vehicle, you have to show the knowledge element in that they either knew or they should have known that that vehicle was stolen. So it is pretty close to impossible to prove that somebody knew or should have known that the car they were in was stolen if they have the keys to the car. Police are here to protect the serve. Everyone should take accountability. We should all look to law and order. There should be justice. You should trust the police. There should be a lot more transparency. We should come together as a we nation. Fight. There should have been. We should.